lab guy here. We are now looking at my new or my latest Akai VT150 color quarter inch reel to reel videotape recorder. The VT150 came out in 1974 or so and uh, was somewhat popular except it was extremely expensive at around three thousand dollars for the complete outfit with a matching camera the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder the AC adapter an RF unit and a couple of rolls of tape let's rewind the tape and see what might be on it alright well these old machines uh, need maintenance usually when you get them and this one's no exception uh, we will try to play the tape but it's been having some trouble taking up so here goes another try alright keep taking up and we have a color picture from 1983 of a junior golf tournament this is a very good start for one of these machines but as you can see the take up function needs some work but this is just a preview and uh, I just wanted to show that off because I'm very proud of what I just obtained this is what you get for seven hundred and fifty dollars collectors value these days alright let's stop that before it eats the tape here it is in still frame mode as you can see there are some crossover distortions but this is normal in pause mode for a system such as this the heads are spinning but the tape is stationary to get this to where I could test it I had to build a uh, adapter cable so taking an old sidecar monitor from one of the black and white machines I scrapped it for this little connector which is an 8 pin but not standard EIAJ and I ran the wires out to a couple of dual RCA jacks that you can buy at Radio Shack and broke it out for the uh, four signals of video input video output audio input and audio output this adapter though very uh, low reliability in the long term is adequate for current testing previously we were testing the machine using the RF adapter but that required required me to have a television set with a tuner which uh, in our lab here at home we don't have we have actual broadcast monitors that have only direct video input so looking at the tape recorder we have a power switch starting on the left a battery level indicator an automatic edit controller a still play switch and then the piano keys which are uh, rewind fast forward stop play and record on top there is a switch for audio dub which means you can record the audio track after the video has been recorded and here's the lovely very sexy Akai VT150 logo plate the drum cover very sexy very very sexy hold on that's not all uh, with brute force it can be removed and here we get a good look at the scanner and the fixed heads and if we go down here following the tape from the feed reel it comes around a couple of tensioning rollers through a feed cap stand and pinch roller around the other side of the scanner off the scanner and across a pair of fixed heads which the first fixed head is an erase head and the second head is a record play head these heads are in charge of the audio track 
which is along one edge, probably the top edge, and the control track, which would run along the bottom edge. Now there's nothing to say that they aren't switched to this position, I just don't have the spec in my hands right now. Inside the scanner, you can see the slip rings and brushes. Well, I can't focus that close. In the center, there is a pulse coil which picks up the once around tachometer pulse. Or actually, it's uh, every half revolution, there's a metal vein that flies by that coil and makes a, an electrical pulse. This is used to servo the head speed so that it spins at precisely 59.94 uh, head passes per second. It actually runs at exactly half that speed because there's two heads. And then it comes out of there, off the audio heads, through a capstan and pinch roller and onto a take-up reel. The whole rig is operated, powered by a uh, AC power adapter or optionally two internal batteries, which this fellow has, but they gave up the ghost probably 20 years ago or better. So that's the tape recorder. I'm sorry that this is not a great angle of it, but this is the mating color camera. It contains two Viticon tubes. One is the green video channel directly and also represents the luminance information approximately. And in the handle is a second tube looking straight up into a beam splitter prism which has a this tube has a red and blue striped filter on it which does color dissection of the red and blue signals. A matrixing circuit takes care of, of mixing all the signals together appropriately and separating them into the normal components of luminance or Y and R minus Y and B minus Y signals. The camera contains a one inch viewfinder, a zoom lens, a motorized automatic iris control and a built in microphone. There's a trigger switch for starting and stopping the recording. On this side of the camera, there's a selector switch for automatic and or manual mode, and then three color temperature settings. The little button up at the top is for white balance. I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. My experience with two tube color cameras is that the results are typically not ideal. We will uh, examine that further once I uh, do some maintenance on the belts and rubber wheels inside of the color video tape recorder. So this has been my sneak preview of the Akai color video outfit.